This video will help you to navigate uh, the website that explores the Westminster con uh, Catechism, larger catechism. And uh, here's how um, I would use it. Uh, first of all, there's 196 questions and they're all listed over here on the left margin. You can scroll down and see all the questions. So what you could do is just scroll down, see the questions that intrigue you the most, and then uh, jot down the number, and then just email these numbers to Steve and I, and we will be able to then focus in on uh, the topics of most interest to you. So that's one way to use the website. Just scroll down, look at each of the questions. Another way would be, of course, you know, maybe you're not sure if that question is one you want to look at. So let's say uh, we want to look at chief highest end of man. What is it? Chief is not. And so there's the question. There's the answer that is given by the Christians from many years ago. And then there's the scripture passages that um, would um, be offered as proof that that's the correct answer. And so you could jot and say, oh yeah, that, that's what I want to talk about. So jot down number one, email that question. You don't have to email all of this information, just question number one, and then we can work those into our study of the uh, scriptures regarding these various questions. So that's one way to uh, navigate uh, the website. Um, another way to navigate it is to go up here to where there's a search option. So let's say you're curious about what the um, catechism and it says the scriptures teach about some topic like resurrection. So we'll type in the word resurrection. And then we click search this site. And then in a few uh, seconds, it will come up with a listing of all the places in the larger catechism and in the Westminster Confession and in the Heidelberg Confession uh, where uh, the word resurrection is mentioned. So here it is. 87, what are we to believe concerning the resurrection? And if you click there, it will take you to 87 in this list, along with the answer and the proof of scripture that is offered. Uh, we come down a little bit later. Uh, here's 52, how was Christ exalted in his resurrection? So as you move down, you'll see the word resurrection is mentioned in all of these questions. It's also mentioned in the Heidelberg Catechism. So by clicking on any of these links, you'll go uh, to that question. So let's go here uh, to 87. I click on it. It takes me right to 87 in our menu. What are we to believe? And here's the answer. We are to believe that at the last day, there shall be a general resurrection of the dead, uh, both of the just and unjust and so on. It gives you all of these. And then you'll notice it has uh, these little footnote numbers like 379. Well, that references uh, this scripture passage. So here are the scripture passages that um, they believe support the answer that was given. So that's one way of navigating on our course website. And the website itself has got this home button right up here at the top. You click there, it brings you back to what I call the home menu. This is the URL that you would need to type in your browser https colon slash forward slash forward slash sites dot google dot com slash site slash 6 a.m. men's bible study so if you type that in on your browser then this web site will come up um, so uh, notice the search thing I've told you about that now at the top of the site and then my email is here if you want to email me about questions and then you can click here to download the PDFs and watch videos about the Westminster Larger Confession. So if you click here, it takes you to um, our, menu, our file cabinet on our website. And down here, you have the ability to download the Larger Catechism. It's a PDF file to your computer or your phone. Or you can just click view it if you want to just view it. Or the Heidelberg Catechism, you could view it or download it and the Confession of Faith, the Westminster Confession of Faith. You can view it or you can download it. Also in our file cabinet, notice you can listen to the Westminster Larger Catechism. You click here and that YouTube will come out and you can listen to it. It's good bedtime listening. 
put you to sleep with some good thoughts, okay? So you could listen to it. And then on the following link, you can hear the Heidelberg Catechism read to you at night. So you can click there. And on the following link, you can hear a sermon that's based on the um, first question of the Westminster Larger Catechism. So if you click there, you'll hear a sermon that was preached about it. So a few other resources that are there available to you. And then to go to the top menu, you click up here, or you can move your, um, your elevator bar down through the whole website. Okay, so I think that gives you the basics of how to use the website, and I'll send you the link to this YouTube video that explains it all.